You know, as I'm walking on in, I actually really do enjoy this Epcot music. It's very subtle. It's very welcoming. Speaking of welcoming, Welcome back everybody to your daily dose of Disney. We're here at Epcot again to try some more delicious items here at the new festival Flower and Garden which is going until July 5th and happening right now. I did have a video of the opening day of Flower and Garden where we actually got to try some really really good items. I'll link that down below. However, I also did note that the whole front of the Epcot entrance is now actually complete. They have a light at night which actually looks really beautiful. I'll try to find something online to show you guys because we're not going to be here at night, unfortunately. The time is 12.33 right now, and the parking lot was actually pretty full. We'll see how crowded it is here at Flower and Garden. It's a beautiful day, about 68 degrees. Let's go, uh, let's go explore around here, see what we can find. As soon as I said that they're done with construction, they do look like they're actually doing something with the flooring over here. They did this recently about sometime last year as well. Let's see if I can take a peek on over. Yeah. Doesn't really look like anything major. Spaceship Earth is a 45 minute right now already at 12.35 in the morning. Uh, no, um, thank you. I don't really think it's 45, honestly. Yeah. It's probably more like a 20. I think the time there is wrong. Could be wrong though. Today we are here with my partner in oh. crime here, JoJo's Hello. World. Yeehaw. How Welcome. are you doing today, Kyle? Great. I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat. We're gonna go eat right mm. now. We're making our way through Test Track. It does actually seem pretty crowded because Test Track's actually at like a 55 that, minute that wait. 50? Yeah, check out this line. Midday, I always expect Test Track to be a uh, very long wait. Line is all the way out here. I was the first guest to actually ever eat here at the Epcot Sunshine Griddle. And I'm gonna stand by this. This is actually so far the best booth here at Flower and Garden. It is absolutely delicious. If you guys missed that vlog, Go check it out because I'm telling you, it's so, so good. Kind of upset I'm not eating it today, but we gotta go to try other things, obviously. I think JoJo's getting something from here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I am so hungry today, so I'm very, very thankful we're at Flower and Garden. I kind of did that on purpose though. We're headed to Mexico right now. Mexico is gonna be the first stop. I heard Mexico's got some very good items on their menu, this, this uh, Flower and Garden. We've made it to the Mexico booth. This is where it's gonna be, and it seems to be very, very popular. The line is extremely long. I'm actually gonna get like, I think three items on here because everything just looks so good this year. Let's uh, let's go dive in, let's go get some stuff. We're gonna go all in here and get all three of the items on the, the menu here. I've never seen Kyle do this before. Yeah, we're, we're splurging today, we're splurging. I'm hungry. If you happen to be new around my channel, which a lot of you guys actually are because we've been getting so many subscribers, thank you for that. Um, Mexico is literally my favorite country here around the world showcase. They have amazing food, most importantly, the best drink, margaritas. So, so good. Can't go wrong with them. So the first one we're going to get is going to be the, or the we're going to try, is going to be the tostada. It looks like a flat taco. It's got braised pork, crispy corn tortilla with black beans topped with pickled onions, which is my favorite, pickled onions. Mango habanero relish and oregano. Here we go. Excited about this one. It, the, <laughs> the beans are a little bit mushed. Oh, it's actually hard. You see that? I was actually gonna fold it. Interesting. It's got a lot of seasoning on this. Yeah, I like it. I like that, um, it's got a crunch to it. It's like you're eating a chip as well. Mm, not bad. So that was the tostada. I like that it had a crunch. It, was, it blended pretty well together. It was $7, so a little on the pricey end here um, at Flower and Garden. Now we're gonna actually try the taco. This one's actually $7.25, so it's a little bit different. Uh, price range, but by 25 cents. You can smell garlic on here. Oh, sorry, that's Parmesan. It smells pretty good. It's got corn on the side. It's a windy day out, huh? It is. Like, really windy. Uh, wow. We're gonna try this taco. Oh, yeah. This might be my favorite. It looks really good. I'm kind of mad I didn't get anything for myself, honestly. Like, what the heck? The Bob cheese on top, good. though. Cheese on top makes it really good. Um, the pork is a little dry. Can't I mean, go wrong with tacos. I mean, you're eating it, so yeah. it must be good. It's good. Still have some corn. Regretting my decisions on not getting anything now. That was good. Ooh, a little spicy. Corn was spicy. Wow, I wish I would have combined the corn like on that taco because it actually has a little kick on there. I think that's that habanero. Mmm, that's good. Last but not least, we have this chorizo right here. Looks pretty good. So this actually is a plant-based uh, chorizo. It's a ground chorizo on a fried corn dough with black beans and avocado mousse. 
Let's give this a whirl. It's so windy out today. Give me a good bite here. Oh, wow. The base of this is actually really like hard and crunchy. I like that. That's nasty. And by nasty, I mean like nasty good. <laughs> However, I don't think anything is better quite yet than the avocado toast that we got over at the Sunshine Griddle. That is absolutely phenomenal. These are still pretty good, but um, the avocado toast is to die for. Spicy though. Really? Chorizo is supposed to be spicy? Yeah. It really wasn't spicy. Um, it was good though. It was really crunchy. Kind of hard to chew at moments, but I think that was the best option actually here other than, um, I don't know. The taco is still pretty good. It's, it's still overall like good, but again, the avocado toast, that's supreme winner so far. Oh, you're gonna chug it. We're actually here with one of my other friends, uh, Marcus Q on YouTube. What's you guys up, can go check him out. Uh, this is actually our first time like hanging out here at Epcot, actually in general. We're always talking about we wanna hang out. Yeah. Like the first time, pretty much. Here we are, finally hanging out, eating around the world. Today is a Monday, and there's a huge crowd here for a Monday. Pretty, pretty packed. large. Pretty packed. I haven't even updated you guys, but the harmonious barges are actually all completed and you can see they're currently still working on it. It's kind of cool. I've been meaning to update you guys on this, but they're all out now. We're just waiting for them to announce when they are going to be opening the fireworks show, the brand new fireworks show here at Epcot. I am a little curious on what the wait time here for Frozen is going to be. I could check my app, but I'm here. I want to see what is posted. It's posted a 40 minute wait. Now that's not really bad, but if you guys have seen my rope drop videos, you can actually get on Frozen Ever After in the morning in just about a minute. I honestly can't believe that I just ate everything at Mexico and I'm still a little bit hungry. I am a little bit full, but like it was good. Like I'm telling you, that Mexico stand is, is no joke. At least get one thing from that stand. Please, please comment down below what actually you guys think you might want to get at Mexico because I literally love that country so, so much. Obviously here at Flower and Garden, there's a lot of topiaries and this actually is one of my favorite ones. It's very, very well done. It's beautiful. Of course, Snow White. The music makes it amazing too. We're gonna keep an eye out from some more topiaries. There is one that I really wanna see and it's gonna be the Lion King one. I heard that one's by Figment. Marcus just told me here uh, in between Germany and Italy, they actually have the little little signs that say Flower and Garden Festival going on in this little town here. It's kind of cool. Do you see them? If you zoom on out, there's the sign. A cool little touch. I had no idea about that. Thank you. I had no idea. Yeah, Disney does all kinds of crazy little details like that. If you guys knew about this, go ahead and comment down below because I had literally no idea about that. That's a really cool little small little detail. It's so awesome. Oh my gosh, I think we're actually gonna get this cannoli here oh, yeah, in Italy. Too. Yeah, that looks so good. $4.95, we're getting this cannoli. That looks delicious. We'll see. Italy actually has some very expensive dishes all the time. And if you guys are wondering about prices, uh, the dishes are always gonna be about from $5 to $8, but the one here is $12.50, which is kind of crazy. Welcome to Flower and Garden. This wasn't even on my list. The picture got me and it looks so good. A lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. The tiny cannoli, wow. I'm struggling to remember where I had my last cannoli because I know I had it somewhere here in Disney property. I can't remember. But here we're gonna try the flower and garden one. Oh, hmm, that is good. It's good. This is good. This is really good. Is it really, 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 really good? Yeah, okay. it actually smacks. And Kyle doesn't talk lightly about these desserts, so you can trust him on this. This is good. This is actually really freaking good. If you want a dessert, come to Italy. I'm telling you this cannoli is good. Wow, wow, wow. I think we're learning that the, oh, there's a bug on my lens. You guys see the bugs right here? Get off, there you go. <laughs> I think we're learning that the pictures look anything, not, not, no, no, no. We're learning that the pictures don't look anything like what they give you, but it still tastes pretty good. We're about to look at a hidden topiary. I did not even see this one before. Look at this, it's Lady and the Tramp. That is so awesome. That's cute. You guys are, you guys are like hidden, huh? It's a cool one. It's really pretty. 
We're coming on up to the American Gardens Theater. Here is going to be the time for Voices of Liberty and their other performances that they have. I don't know if you guys can tell right now, but obviously we just went to, uh, Jojo and I, we went to Blizzard Beach, and I didn't put sunscreen on because, A, I'm stupid, B, because it was cold out, it was 58 degrees, but my head is all fried, my back is fried, kind of hurting right now, um, lesson learned, put sunscreen at all times when you're here in Florida. I did today, if you're wondering, because I didn't want to get even more burnt. I think we're turning this into a dessert day, we're over here at Magnolia Terrace, and I'm gonna try this pecan cake. It looks absolutely delicious, 425. Let's give it a whirl. I guess I have like the itch for dessert today. We've tried more desserts. Well, we had two desserts and three like main entrees, I guess. I don't know what my deal is today. Like, why do I just want dessert? Time for some pecan cake, everybody. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Ah! Oh my God. Oh, Money. snap. <laughs> Look at this cake, everybody. Holy cow. Let's uh, let's go dig in here. Ooh, this looks so good. Yo, I can't honestly get over how good this looks. This just looks amazing. Caramel drizzle, the pecans, the cake, ice cream. I think that's actually whipped cream. I thought it was ice cream, but it's, I think it's gonna be some like house-made whipped cream. My mouth is watering for this. I think this is the thing that I'm most excited for today and I uh, didn't even expect to get it. Looks absolutely amazing. All right, here we go. We're gonna get everything. We're gonna get the pecans, we're gonna get the whipped cream, we're gonna get the cake, we're gonna get the caramel. Oh, the... interesting. It's actually kind of hard to cut. All right, let's try this bad boy. My mouth is legit watering right now. Wow. Yeah, you definitely have to mix all this together. The cake is a little bit dry on the dry end, but if you mix it with the caramel, the pecans, and the, the whipped cream, I'm calling it, this is definitely another really good dessert. Oh yeah, my dad would definitely, definitely love this. Hands down. The middle of the cake was definitely better than the, the end. This has got my vote, guys. Better than the cannoli. The mariachi band's in there now. That is something I would watch too. I love watching mariachi bands. Look at the crowds ahead of us. It's a packed day at Flower and Garden today. Also, they have a, actually a, an exclusive Flower and Garden funnel cake. I'm gonna get one of these days. Just don't think I can do any more desserts at the moment. Whoa, that's super close. We made Hello. it to Japan I can't believe for the Frushi. Yummy. Frushi. Can't wait, it's $6. Strawberry pineapple and cantaloupe wrapped in sweet rice and pink soy wrap. I've never had before, and I know a lot of people like it, so let's go try it. I actually don't like sushi, so this frushi is right up my alley. How's it going, Matthew? Yeah! Yeah! i never had it before. Beautiful, huh? Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, wow! Yep. Thank you. No problem. Heck yeah, thanks. Have a good night. You too. Yeah, it's just drizzled berry sauce looks delicious. It's about the whipped cream in this berry sauce. Let's, um, let's give it a whirl. Are you supposed to eat with a fork or your hands? Fork. I don't eat sushi, so I don't really know. It's like this. Here we go. You ate that so long. <laughs> Let's see, it's all came apart. It's good. I like it with the whipped cream, honestly. I think that's what makes it really, really good. The fruit's like actually really fresh. I just don't know how I feel about the rice <laughs> with fruit. Never had that combination before. That's weird. Let's see what Jojo thinks. He's gonna have my last one. I love sushi. Okay. Oh, you're supposed to hold, eat the whole thing like that? <laughs> I took like a little. Mmm. You didn't get this drizzle either. This drizzle is really good. Oh. Mm. You like? Yeah, I've never had sushi before. It's actually really good. Um, you're right. The fruit tastes really fresh. Look at my plate. <laughs> the consistency of the rice is definitely weird with fruit. It's really weird. But overall, I still really like it. Yeah. It's refreshing. Especially on want, a day today. If you want fruit, 
<laughs> with rice. Get it here. You know where to find it. It's good. I just never had fruit with rice before. Came back here in Morocco and there's really nothing, nothing back here anymore. Nothing to look at. Um, I will say if you know, you know right now. Comment down below if you know. <laughs> the Beauty and the Beast topiary seems to be uh, a very popular spot here. A lot of people huddle around. We are still waiting for Ratatouille to soft open or just open for testing because usually again they do like open a little bit before the grand opening. Let's look at this Remy topiary. So cute. Patiently waiting Ratatouille to open. Please open. I really want to go on sometime this year. On a busy day like this, we just found a bench. That is so rare. It is actually. We did it. Stumbled upon the like Starbucks section and check out like the exclusive Epcot mug here. It's actually really cool. This is awesome. It's gonna be $24.99. You can actually only get this at Epcot or the, some of the other locations that actually sell all the parks. And I think Disney Springs actually sells all of the mugs, just to let you guys know. A beautiful day we've had here today so far. To the chill. To the chill. We're walking on out though. You guys know what that means. End of the vlog? End of the video. Uh, I was like, <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> We are now heading on out of Epcot. That is gonna be it for your daily dose of Disney, everybody. Thank you guys so much for all the support. We are about to hit like 42K subscribers here on YouTube. That's literally insane. We just hit 40, so literally from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for the support each and every single day. Uh, it's literally the best feeling ever. Uh, starting on March 15th, I'm gonna be launching Patreon tiers. Your name could be just to the left in my video. Just go under my Patreon on March 15th, and you guys might have the opportunity if you join that specific tier. Um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. And um, that was it. Bye. See ya.